It doesn't matter if it's your first time or your last time, it's a whoa. That was impressive. Those are goosebump moments. I get the chills literally every time the flyover occurs. And then it's like, for me, it's like, God, we need to kick this thing off. I can hardly control my enthusiasm. You can literally kind of feel the vibrations in your body. And uh, it really raises the hair on the back of your neck. You have to do a lot of coordination and, and planning to make sure that right as that national anthem is finishing, you know, here they come. Our bread and butter is to get time on target. So you give us a time, you give us a place to be, and we'll be there at that time. Uh, so we approach this mission the same way as we would any other uh, combat mission. They came to us and said, hey, we've got this mission. And it came down to fly over the Super Bowl. Do you want to do it? And of course, everybody's like, yes, absolutely. I want to do, I want to do that. It had to be timed perfectly. We had fireworks going off during the national anthem, the last note, and we needed to be over the stadium, flying over, prior to uh, fireworks going off just behind us. So it had to be dead on. We had a spotter inside the stadium, and he knew how long Renee Fleming was supposed to sing the national anthem. And so he was the one giving us the time. When you're trying to hit a target, plus or minus three seconds, plus or minus five seconds um, for the Super Bowl to make sure it all looked just right, um, it takes a lot of precision. Five seconds now. Going over the stadium, it took me back to beginning to learn how to fly again. I was grabbing those flight controls. I was nervous. I was worried. But to hear the roar of the crowd over our aircraft and to see the American flag down on the field, there are no words that can describe how amazing it was. Unbelievable elation. Kind of like catching that uh, touchdown pass in the end zone to win the game. It's the best feeling there is. You know when they're breaking out the planes, that it's a pretty big game. It's a dominating feeling. I mean, the ground's shaking and things are rumbling. You know, everybody's kind of eyes just go up. I look back at my childhood, um, growing up as a child in the military, as a big benefit to me. You know, I mean, how to deal with challenges, how to be disciplined and focused. But that's transferred over into my, my playing career as well. My mother retired 20 years from the military. My father is still in, and my sister is currently in the U.S. Navy, so it's near and dear to my heart. It's hard to describe putting in words. There's so many emotions and everything going through your head and just to see the planes fly over. And, it means that you just get to go out and do something you love, and they risk their lives uh, each and every day, and we can be more thankful for that opportunity. For those that are overseas, it's always a morale boost to tune into NASCAR, football, hockey, baseball, whatever it happens to be, to see a flyover. It builds a link back from the sands of whatever country I happened to be in at the time to be able to kind of mentally bring yourself back to, uh, back to American soil. Our servicemen and women are, you know, the backbone of this country. You know, the sacrifices they make and the sacrifices their families make to defend our freedom, to protect our country, is the ultimate. As athletes, you know, we obviously are, are kind of put on a platform, but they are the true heroes, they are the true role models who you want to look up to, the ultimate selflessness. <laughs>